Welcome to Art and Leisure. Today, how popular for you, as usual. The program focuses on arts, culture, tourism, and events. Let me start by asking you: How many books have you read this year? What are you reading at the moment? You know, you learn a lot from books. When you talk about inspiration, you get loads of it when you read motivational books, especially one that chronicles an influential man's personal experiences. My name is Chioma Okwara. Watch this. Falakemi Fatobe has a 9 to 5 job, but like every human being does, she went through a challenging period and all she could back on to at that time was inspiration to get her going again. I was going through a very difficult situation in my personal life. Uh, my daughter was quite ill at the time, so I had to leave work. It was, it was a very difficult time. In the midst of adversity, I have discovered that nothing is impossible and life will invariably be exactly what we make of it. I have been able to soldier on with my joy intact regardless of my circumstances because I made a choice not to let my immediate circumstances rule my today and therefore my tomorrow. I have said no to depression, no to fear and no to hopelessness. The 271-paged book is woven around President Barack Obama, whose election many believe was unprecedented. I have been profoundly affected by Obama, by his resilience and determination, his work ethic, his dignity, his humility and his ability to gain consensus in the midst of rancor. Barack Obama is the first black man to become the President of the United States of America first in 2008 and re-elected in 2012. Now, there are a few personalities in the world that can rival the iconic Barack Obama, whose life, attitudes, and achievements have shaped the focus of the book Inspiring a Generation. This is a compilation of 60 motivational messages and key success tips of wide-ranging interests and importance. These in themselves are divided into three parts and 12 chapters. So through this book, you will find that truly success is no guesswork. It is simply, as we see from the book of Kemi, a product of practical engagement of tested and proven principles. It represents wise choice, wise choice of many alternatives, and it is these alternatives that I now turn with a smaller brush. In my readings of Obama and um, what he writes of himself, of himself, this is one of the best biographies of Obama. The book reviewer also described the author as a truly remarkable woman. Fala Kemi herself is a bundle of encouragement and a vehicle of hope even for the hopeless. And the bottom of this is someone who loves knowledge, someone who loves undiluted scholarship. No wonder she truly is an Ikiti girl. A panel of discussions gave take home points on what made Obama successful. Now Obama used social media like it has never been used before. He became the very first American president to use social media to win an election and to get young people to vote for him. When I read the forward, I thought it shouldn't have been titled Inspiring a Generation. Um, it should have been Inspiring Many Generations, Current and Future. I have the uh, 11 year old twins who are avid readers and who enjoy biographies and autobiographies of accomplished people, and this would really be um, a, a dream uh, to read for them. In the United States, he's the first black American president. In Brazil, he would not even be considered black. He would be a mulatto, like most of the world. He's celebrated as the triumphant underdog in Africa. Well, he's an African. No, we must banish this notion from our heads that racial injustice in both the American and global context has been defeated in one fell swoop as a result of Obama's successful campaign for protests. 
Many see Obama as an inspiration, so there's a call for all to emulate him. I believe that when you are born, you must take notice that you are also going to die at some stage. That is expire. And what I tell all my friends is that as soon as you can do so, when you are alive and healthy, you must aspire to inspire others before you yourself expire and meet your desire. The book presenters made it clear that a conducive environment is needed in order to produce more Obamas. Obama being black in America and got to where he is, it was because America allowed it. There's freedom in America, there's rule of law in America, there's equity in America, there's justice. And if we could do that in Nigeria, there are several Obamas sitting out here that would champion different sectors of the economy, industry, and even religion. In terms of form, in terms of content, the world class book in our hands. A poetic interlude added color to the event. This is a prayer for my country to be all that we can be truly a land of opportunity. Inspiring a Generation is a motivational book which will inspire the readers to achieve any goal they set their minds on regardless of prevailing circumstances. I hope that you have been able to pick up and learn a few things from Obama too. It is never too late to learn and it is never too late to be inspired and make an impact regardless of where you are and what you have. Fola Kemi Fatoube is optimistic that this book will make everyone go on a journey of self-discovery which she believes is necessary for the achievement of purpose and fulfillment. Welcome back. Life is full of ups and downs. Everybody goes through challenges. Everybody. When you fall, that shouldn't be a permanent posture. I know what I found out. Applause only comes when you've done well. And so our next report is about those who have worked their fingers to the bone and have something to show for it. <laughs> the Lagos chapter of the Society of Nigerian Artists said thank you in a unique way to those who have raised the bar especially in the visual arts subsector stay the awards came in different categories lifetime achievement award went to professor yusuf grillo dr bruce onobra Kweya, abayomi baba bisi fake kolade oshinowo and nike davis okundaye these are people who have proven themselves in the field and they deserve to be awarded accordingly because of the sacrifices they've made to the Society of Nigerian Artists and because of the beauty and the joy that their works have brought to the world and how it has situated Nigeria, even in the state of things. These are household names. Other categories were Distinguished Artists and Art Scholars Award, Distinguished Master Artists Award, Distinguished Artists Award, Award for Stewardship and Distinguished Service Award. Collectors, institutions, and the press were also appreciated. I am delighted to receive this uh, award on behalf of uh, the vibrant and brilliant leader of the strong Prince Dr. Babayemi. It was really very nice, it was fantastic. Comparing to the previous ones, I think this was a very grand one. I feel great, I feel happy, I feel encouraged. It has not been easy, you know, reporting ads, it's interesting. I feel very, very happy about it. Uh, it's a pleasant surprise to me uh, that uh, that is coming from the Lagos State chapter of uh, Society of Nigerian Artists in recognition of my contribution to the visual asset of Nigeria. I think I'm happy, I'm glad. A posthumous award was given to Ake Balogu, who was a member of the executive before he passed on. Akim Balogu was a very wonderful person. You know, collecting this award on his behalf this evening just, you know, broke the fact, oh my yeah, that this guy is gone. But his, his good works lives on. You know, he touched my life and the lives of everybody that knew him. Every October, 
the Lagos chapter of Society of Nigerian Artists organizes a competitive group exhibition. Those who distinguished themselves in the last edition were rewarded. It makes me feel great um, because um, I was nominated for the first position artist category. First position artist category and third position overall. The Lagos chapter of the Society of Nigerian Artists was inaugurated 33 years ago. Its executive council is made up of seven members and three ex-officials. How well has the chapter fared in the last one year? The Society of Nigerian Artists has achieved a lot. Uh, for example, the award and gala night we're having this year uh, was last held in 2009. That's about five years ago. And uh, being able to bring back such a noble event uh, is an achievement. Uh, we've had a sustained annual jury exhibition in the October ring. Uh, we've had uh, several developmental exhibitions for the under 25 artists. Uh, we've had an art uh, competition for children in primary and secondary schools. The future looks bright. We are setting up the SNA Art Club which is going to primary and secondary schools, you know, to teach the students much more about, uh, about visual art from uh, the fundamental stage. One of the advantages of visual art is that it helps you to have, uh, to, uh, to strengthen your creative thinking. The evening was spiced up with comedy and a dance drama. I wish you really learned. Really, there's one second question. That's, I never played, I just carry on. Nigerian artists is a professional body for all practicing visual artists in the country. It's been in existence for 52 years and there are chapters in many states of the nation. Welcome back. Work hard and work smart. That's a summary of that report. <laughs> yes, you're watching Art and Legend. Like I told you earlier, we have a popery for you today. Let's invite Equal the poet to thrillers. Say my name. Diana Paris. Whisper to me your dreams in the complete trust of a true friend. Watch me harness them to fusion. You know, incubate the seeds to fruits. Speak my name. Diana Paris. Be ensnared by the mystique of my fiery calm, tearing down the icy facade erected around your heart by time's tender torture. Speak my name. Diana Bass. Say my name and watch mystery dissolve. Navigate uncharted waters of affection. Become what you yearn. I melt in your embrace as you drown in the depth of my eyes. Say my name. Diana <laughs> No, 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 not like that. Say it with the warmth of beans fury wrapped in moi moi leaves. Diana Bass. Watch our love burn steady, resolute like the Iroko in the face of a stone. Say my name. Diana Bass. Say my name with the staccato of passion and watch as I unravel all your needs. Say my name. Diana Say my name over and over and over. Diana Bassi. Diana Bassi. Diana Thank you very much. 
nice to have you back. I hope you enjoyed that. I bet Kuta in Ogun State is home to Oluma Rock. No climbing today. We'll pay a visit to the Craft and Souvenir Gallery. Let's go. Oluma Rock Tourist Complex is home to magnificent rocks, three art galleries, and a canteen. Every visitor is expected to visit the Craft and Souvenir Gallery. This gallery came into being May 1st this year to enable visitors and tourists to be able to pick one gift item or the other. These gift items were produced by artists in Ogun State. Apart from giving the visitors and tourists the opportunity to pick gift items to be taken away, we also try to empower our artists, local artists, local craftsmen and women. We try to use this avenue to promote them and their works. There's a wide range of gifts to choose from. Some of the woven items you can find behind you there can serve as a flower vase. We have uh, the contemporary batik and tie and dye. We have bags produced through the ingenuity of Dr. Aden Lip. And visitors and tourists, are, they have been picking them. We also have some contemporary ceramics wares produced by a ceramist who is based in here in Abekuta. And then wood carvings, although this type of carving is peculiar to the people from the Beni area, but then we still have a resident artist here in town who is into the production of this type of carving. Then we have postcards of Olumo Rock. Postcards showing some of the paintings we have around here for sale. And then some beadwork, wire work, that are also products of professionals as well as uh, uh, students who are struggling to make a living by using their hand as well as their head. These are some of the ways we try to help our youths generally to make good use of their time and talent. So that is what this place is all about. This craft and souvenir gallery. Byros, face cap, gowns, wears, they are all here. Depending on uh, which one you prefer to take away as gift item for people you left behind at home. Mr. Kola Anidube, the general manager of Oluma Rock Tourist Complex, says the state is proud of its heritage and ingenious artists. Olumorok Tourist Complex is one place you must visit at least once in your lifetime. Not to a group who have a lot in common. Old students of Federal Government College, Obumosho, had to get together with a relieved sweet memories and generally had fun. Take a link. They left Federal Government College, Obomosho, many years ago. They have fond memories. One that comes to mind, maybe because then um, some of us were just focused on studying. So you have a test, you need to leave prep, night prep, and you don't want to leave, you know. So you, you, you play all sorts of pranks to ensure that you can stay later than expected. Um, also, you need to find a way to get into the hostel if you stayed outside later than normal. Um, lots of fun memories, really. I will always remember the Amatan season when it got really very cold. And uh, I mean, in the morning, you want to go and have your bath to go to, uh, to the assembly. It's like you're having to think twice because the water is going to be very cold. Then it was tough, but I mean, looking back, I think we enjoyed it. Football. Personal memories, I couldn't play football, but I was a coach. Um, I remember us, you know, going to the dining hall and the food is not enough. And we have to rush sometimes. Federal Government College, Uboma Show has churned out individuals who are contributing to the growth and development of the nation in all sectors. Every industry, in every discipline, we have old students 
spread across the globe. Like this evening, we inaugurated our cooperative society. The secretary of our cooperative society works with Chevron, and we have quite a number of our host students in that organization, Mobile. Most of the banks, I mean, we have a lot of our old students, in our, a lot of corporate bodies and good positions in government. It's an evening to let her down, relieve memories and network. We organize the event every year, the annual reunion, um, just to bring together all our members since the school started to date, so that we get to know ourselves, um, we get to relieve fond memories of Fergokosa. Of Federal Government College of Mosho. Awards were also given. We use the opportunity to recognize certain people who have done exceptionally well. For example, the best graduating student for the year, we recognize him here and we give him an award. And then we recognize some academic and non academic staff who have worked in the school, who played a major role in taking us through school. So this is an opportunity to say thank you to them. So we bring them here and we recognize them. There was room for a raffle draw. Winding down was the order of the day. If you see no more of Donald Trump, the guy now, he comes with the new people, the back of Canada, he comes hammer. Now he won't call him, but the way to do Donald Trump, he comes China. Meet the Federado. Now I went to just one more side. Now see the competition for Trump. You see the air? Old students of Federal Government College, Obama Shaw, have continuously given back to their alma mater. We got a, a, a very quality clinic built in the school, donated by Chevron. And this was as a result of the intervention of some of our old students who work in that organization. And then we had a lab, laboratory set up by another company, Do Free Foods, that also has one of our old students. And uh, some of the sets have uh, sunk boreholes, done reticulation for water, for the, and then renovated all the toilets in the classroom. They're not resting on their arms. We just this evening inaugurated our cooperative, um, and we hope with that we can begin to support and help our members, you know, to be able to set up their own businesses, etc., etc. A minute silence was observed for the departed ones. Federal Government College, Obomo Shaw, is one of the unity schools where boys and girls are raised to be highly intellectual and upright. <laughs> Students of Federal Government College, Kubo Mosha, having fun. On that happy note, I want to announce to you that we have come to the end of today's show. You can watch more episodes online. Just visit www.artandleisure.com.ng. By His Grace, there'll be something new for you same time next week. My name is Chioma Okwara. Love yourself. Love Nigeria. Thank you.